Jennifer Maya, who was certainly game wow. as challenger tonight, but Very likely game. has not done enough to, to unseat one. the UFC women's flyweight champion Valentina Shevchenko. I'll tell you what, though, she raised her stock considerably. That was a, a very game performance. Oh. Even if she's not going to get the decision unless there's some sort of crime occurring right. in front of us. Right. <laughs> but she raised her stock considerably. All right, this replay is brought to you by Nemiroff. Both yeah, that second round had a lot of those gamblers DC. probably right scared as shit. Valentina Shevchenko right into the top upper body position, headlock, throws those hips across, takes Maya down, controls the entirety of the first round, landed a few nice elbows in there. Second round, though, Jennifer Maya, when she countered Valentina Shevchenko's takedown, was able to get in the top position and control the <coughs> whole second round. Look at that. Shevchenko tries to trip her down. Maya takes top position. But after the second round, it was all Valentina Shevchenko's fight. She landed this beautiful left hand that hurt Maya. Then the high kick. Another left hand right into the takedown. She gets the back of Maya, lifts her, and watch the suplex. Boom! Nothing feels worse than falling on the back right, of your neck it. on this octagon floor. And then Shevchenko starts to let her hands go. One, two, down the pipe, escape out the outside. Look at that. Look at how she escapes out of danger towards the weak side. Then once again, double underhooks, step along the side. All right, let's talk about it. I fell asleep last night, so that's why I didn't cover the card last night. But we're here, 7.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, November the 22nd. 2020 on T Street Controversy with Fight Few 360.com. And the question is, who does she fight next? She's too dominant for her division. 125. Now, the fight I want to see is, I haven't heard anything about it, is her versus um, Wei Lee. And let me turn it up. Box, PlayStation, PC, and Stadia rated but M. Who goes for down or who comes up? Now, with the scorecards, here is Bruce. You know? Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, oh, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 49 46 for the winner by unanimous decision and still go ahead, baby, show the some dance undisputed moves. flyweight champion of it the down. world, Valentina Bulashevchenko. Back up, let it, come on, give it to us, girl. We waiting. So Valentina Shevchenko right. gets extended the full 25 minutes by Jennifer Maya, but her overall winning streak is six. Come she on, has it. four successful defenses of her flyweight title, and she gets her 20th win, DC, as an MMA pro. I mean, Valentina Shevchenko dealt with the adversity and put on a pretty dominant performance. At times, it doesn't go as planned. But as you see, once again, she is the cream of the crop of the flyweight division. You can say her and wrestling has improved. It's crazy to think that we go, wow, she's dealing with adversity when she only lost one round. That's right. She dominated the majority of that fight. All right, now look at the post-fight stats. They're brought to you by DraftKings. Download the DraftKings app for free to get in on all the yes. fight action. Use code yes. UFC when you sign up. DraftKings, you, you can go, bet Barry. on it. And this is the moment we all wait for. I mean, I just got a text from Brad Slater, and he goes, here comes the dance. It's his favorite right, part right. of the Chef Chase fight. That's what I'm talking fight. about. And look at her. She goes out there, and she does That's it. That's what I'm talking about. Leaves the octagon that shit too. as the champion of the world. And, John, it's hard to think that there's someone that's going to rest it off of her because Jennifer Maya showed so much heart, so much passion for trying to become the champion. Here, so as I was saying, looking at the rankings, I was like, yo, like, for the most part, do you want to see her? I mean, Andre? I mean, they can go that route, right? But everybody else... In that division, I mean, who do you really want to see? And tell me, who should I be looking out for? Who should I be looking out for? Should I be looking out for Andrea Lee? Huh? Who's the new upcoming darling of the women's flyweight 125-pound division? Because this is the woman right here. I want to see her face. I'm waiting for her to do our post-fight interview. And maybe she'll give us a hint of what's possibly next. But yeah, it was a little bit of a scary time in the uh, second round. But for the most part, um, the whole she did what she wanted, you know. And then in the the fifth round, you could tell she was trying to knock her out because she started lighting her ass up something fierce. That's what really split her open. That girl was a problem. 
So let's wait for a post-fight interview. Please subscribe. Take your time out to like the video. I'm Tishri Controversy with FightView360.com. Tina Shevchenko, congratulations on a, another successful defense of your title. A tough woman in Jennifer Maya. Give us your thoughts on how the fight went, and was there anything that was unexpected? You know, uh, when I was preparing for the fight, first of all, I'm very glad that it was five rounds, because after long layoff, I was needed to feel the spirit in the octagon, to the spirit of the fight, to know that I am healthy back in 100%, nothing is bothering me. So I'm glad that it was Jennifer Maya, tough opponent first, and went like all distance, so I know for sure for the next one, 100%, I am totally healthy. And... Um, Preparing for this fight, I knew that Jennifer won't be like easy opponent. I watched her fight, I saw what she is, and her body type, uh, her like, uh, she's never giving up. So I knew it, it's gonna be good, good, uh, good fight for a belt, for the belt. This was a very grappling heavy fight and initiated right away in the first round by you. Was that something you planned on, or did you feel it in the moment? Uh, I would say it's um, I, every time this. working um, both striking, grappling, wrestling, anything, and I just prepare my body to react the proper way. When the proper situation comes, it's just do it by itself because it was training so, for so hard during the training camp. Valentina, what was the nature of your injury where, where you were out for so long? Uh, it was MCL, and we had to do a surgery. So it's wow. not the um, worst injury that can happen with the knee, but it's uh, surgery when they uh, cut cut your skin and like doing everything that they have to do to uh, uh, <laughs> to join to reattach yes. it, to join like both ends. Ends. Uh, so it was uh, surgery, and we just took a little bit extra months to make sure that uh, during the fight it won't show up anything like unexpected. During the fight, you landed some heavy blows to Jennifer Maya, and she kept coming forward. Was that surprising at all to you? Uh, actually, no. I knew that she's going to be tough. I watched her previous fight, and I knew that it's going to be something really, 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 really certain or very, very super heavy make her fall. But as I, how I said, she's tough. She's a good fighter. Well, congratulations on defending your title. Welcome back. I'm glad you're healed up and, and ready to go again. Fantastic performance tonight. A really excellent and exciting fight. Thank you very much. Who Thank you so, so much, Joe. Uh, first of all, I want to say that it was amazing, amazing probably last week and a half because everything started with the victory of our mom. She became World Muay Thai champion in shadow boxing. So she had this push of good energy for myself and for my sister Antonina. Antonina, she has so amazing victory today. And I was watching in the hotel her fight. And and I would sure it's everything was so perfect, no mistake, and nothing. In my opinion, she deserved a best performance of the night. So I would say the power, woman power, it's about our family. We are very strong girls. Congratulations <laughs> to your whole family. Congratulations to your mother. Your sister looked amazing tonight, and you did as well. Congratulations on defending your title. Thank you so much, Joe. Valentina Shevchenko, ladies and gentlemen, and still. What a week for the three Shevchenko women, and here was the embrace between Antonina and Valentina. Incredible night for the Shevchenko sisters, and Valentina continues. I would have liked a question about who's possibly next, and after all, as I was saying, looking at the rankings, fuck it. Jessica um, Andrade or Andrade, as I like to call her, you know, you know, Demetrius Andrade. By the way, I have a UFC 4, um, TST Controversy on um, Xbox um one also i think i'm going to get it on ps5 too if they put it in the uh, psn store yet but anyway yeah as i was saying before we get to the main event you know she's too dominant for her division i welcome the uh, jessica andrade fight i think that makes sense you know what's going on with Wei Lee? I forgot. I need to get back on my UFC shit. I really be forgetting a lot of news these days. But anyway, let me get to the main event on T Street Controversy with FightView360.com. Please subscribe.